There's also one particular point in the bill. I would like to know if it has been removed. That is the medical interventions on intersex children. I think that's an, a violation of children's rights because basically you're allowing the parents to decide um, which sex they want to be. And from medical research, sometimes what happens is that as the child grows, sometimes maybe the testos testosterone levels are higher and then maybe the parents maybe wanted a girl, so realigned the child's gender to a girl. And then they realized that, no, I feel more like a boy. So, you know, they are, they are, they are suggesting medical interventions and they are also suggesting um, conversion therapy. I would like to know if the conversion therapy is still in the bill because conversion therapy is a very dangerous practice. It's um, conversion therapy entails, um, you know, changing an individual's sexual orientation using very evasive methods like brain surgery, hormonal um, castration, castration, aversive treatments like electric shocks, nausea inducing drugs, hypnosis, and these are all non-evidence based medical, like it's, there's no evidence on this that it actually works. So I wanna know if conversion therapy is still in the bill. I also wanna say that, um, yes, yeah, so like I said, it's gonna really increase discrimination in our country, which is what we don't want. We want to move forward, not backward. Um, it's fine, we have a culture, it's fine, people have their beliefs. I don't think we should push um, certain beliefs. I, I, I completely understand the Catholic Church, I'm okay with them not accepting um, LGBTQI, but I'm not okay criminalizing the offense. Nobody is saying that you don't have to, like you can say it's like, okay, I don't like oranges, I like apples, that's okay. But when you say, okay, because I don't like apples, I'm going to ban apples in Ghana because I don't like apples, then we have a problem with that. So I think this is something that we have to look at. Human rights are supposed to be for everyone. So what's happening is that the bill is going to violate a number of human rights. Obviously, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it will violate it. It will violate the um, international law on um, children's rights as well. And so it's, it's a number of things. And, you know, right to freedom of expression, right to association and pr uh, privacy, you know, it's all going to be violated. And it's all those all those rights are also enshrined in our constitution. So are we saying that the constitution goes out the window because we, of this bill? I mean, we have to think about these things. Mm. So um, those are, yeah. that's my take. Um, at the end of the day, me, I'm not, I'm not here to argue it out. For me, I consider, so far as you're a human being, you're my brother, you're my sister. It doesn't matter your sexual orientation. It doesn't matter your who, how you identify yourself. At the end of the day, we are all humans and we should be treated equally. Um, in terms of uh, marriage and things, fine. Um, there are some states in the US who haven't passed um, a, a, a same law sex, on yes. yeah. marriage, same-sex marriage, that's okay. But the fact that you are criminalizing the, the, the you know, who, who I love, you are criminalizing that, that is the problem that we need to address here. And I must reiterate that the part on academics, researchers, and, and that kind of thing is actually quite vague from what I know um, from the bill, from what I read last, it was quite vague. So um, if he can elaborate on that, that would be fine. Mm. And if he can also elaborate on the promotion of conversion therapy and then the realignment surgery. I, I would really like to know the details of that. Thank 